morning guys it's another beautiful weekend again um, but not every day living abroad is beautiful and I know that lots of you are working abroad especially the Filipinos as overseas workers and also people living still in their home country but moving to another place sometimes have to deal with homesickness or adjustment to a new place new people, a new surrounding and that's why this video is going to be about overcoming homesickness and adjusting in a new surrounding so take five minutes to get eight, nine, ten tips about overcoming homesickness and adjusting in a new situation Number one, avoid to spend too much time on. Social media is a great tool to be connected with the people around you and all over the world. But anyway, you can also spend lots of hours in stalking profiles of your friends, seeing where they went, which trips they did. And it doesn't really contribute for you to adjust in a new surrounding with the people around you. Instead of spending a lot of time in your digital world, just go out and meet people. And look out especially for those people who know how it feels to stay on, in another place. Maybe they have moved within the country. They will be able to understand how you probably feel if you are homesick. And don't hesitate to talk to those people about your feelings. Wherever you go, try to start as a tourist. Do a bucket list on what you want to do in your new place. Gather ideas on what you want to explore and how you will get familiar with your new place. Being new in your place is a great opportunity to start something new. So just try to start at least one new habit or one new hobby. I, for example, I'm not the early bird, but living here in the Philippines, I started to wake up earlier. Sometimes I'm even able to get up at four o'clock for a round of jogging. And even if adjustment is sometimes hard, still there are some happy moments, some experiences you probably enjoy. So keep those experiences collected, for example, like in a happy moment diary. This will help you to keep those um, great experiences and to conserve them for the future. Adjusting to a new situation means implementing and creating a new routine. I did a video about my personal routine. I linked it over here. A routine helps you to recharge your emotional and physical energy again. One part of this is sleep, so take care that you sleep enough, especially if you get a lot of new impressions. And make sure that you exercise good and regularly um, to recharge your physical energy. Cultivate some things that are familiar to you, especially if you feel bad, if you feel very homesick. For me, that sometimes meant to bake a good German cake. Decorating your room or your house is another way to feel familiar with a new surrounding. <music> Moving to a new place probably means that people from your former surrounding will forget you. Number eight, keep at least one relationship, one friendship from your former life season. So try to stay connected at least to one good friend. <music> Number nine, 
number nine. Even if it's sometimes hard to feel alone in a new place, try to stay there. Probably there are options to enjoy yourself in another place or even visit your, your old friends in your former place. But instead of going there, try more to invite people to your place in order to feel more familiar with your new surrounding. <laughs> Ten, connect to people by cooking together, by sharing their um, local food, their local um, specialties. By the way, behind, this is a Filipino dirty kitchen where lots of people used to cook. This is the place, by the way, where I learned most about uh, Filipino cooking and Filipino food. Ooh. Back home, I hope you got some inspiration. Please leave me a comment if you have another tip on how to fight homesickness. Hope to see you again next week.